Hi everybody, this is lecture 1 for topic 8, uh, ACT 3110. The title of this topic is Cost Volume Profit Relationships. Okay, first thing first. Uh, the Cost Volume Profit uh, Analysis is, uh, is an analysis that shows the relationship between cost, quantity of production, and the profit that can be made by a business. So in this topic, you will learn about this. Uh, the uh, you will learn about the relationship between these three uh, items: cost, uh, quantity, and profit. Uh, you will see what is the effect of uh, changes in cost and uh, quantity on the profit that can be made by by a business. So the first thing that you have to know in this topic is uh, the the format of income statement here. See here, there is a there is a, a sample income statement. So before this, when you learn about uh, accounting, uh, when you learn about the financial accounting, uh, the format for income statement is like this: sales minus sorry revenue minus uh, expenses and then you will get profit that is the format that you you use in the uh, in financial accounting but in but in management accounting most of the time uh, you have to use this format of income statement this format of income statement is called contribution income statement uh, using this format the income statement is like this. First, look at this uh, gray box. First, you have to show the sales or revenue. In this example, the sales uh, revenue is 250000 And then you have to minus the variable expenses or variable costs. Uh, in, this sample, uh, in this sample statement, the variable cost is 150000 That is the total number. And then the sales minus the variable expenses, you will get an item called contribution margin. Okay, so see the second, uh, the second column. And the second column. So total uh, in this uh, sample statement, the contribution margin is one hundred thousand. And then you have to minus fixed expenses. In this sample question, uh, sorry, in this sample statement, the fixed expense is eighty thousand. So net operating income or net profit for this business is twenty thousand. <clears throat> in the second column, you have to show the total number, total sales, total variable expenses, total contribution margin, total fixed expenses, uh, and then the net operating income. And then in the column number three, you have to show the per unit data. So here, the unit data is like this. For this business, the business produces bicycle. So for this business, the per unit data is uh, one bicycle, the price is 500. Uh, and also for this sample question, the variable expenses, uh, per unit variable expense is $300. Remember uh, variable expense, uh, will change when the quantity of production uh, changing. So in this uh, sample uh, statement, one bicycle, $300, the variable cost. If the business produces two bicycles, it will become uh, $600. In this sample statement, the production is 500 bicycles. So five, uh, $300 uh, variable cost per unit times uh, 500 bicycles, the total variable expenses equal to 150,000. So, you have to, to remember about this. Uh, you have to remember about this format of income statement. Uh, sometime uh, in the exam, the, the, uh, you are asked to prepare a, an income statement using this format contribution income statement if there is a question ask you to 
prepare an income statement using contribution format then this is the the format that you have to use okay see the blue box contribution margin is the amount remaining from sales revenue after variable expenses have been deducted so if there is a question ask you what is a contribution margin contribution margin is uh, re revenue minus variable expenses that is that is total contribution margin another one is unit contribution margin what is unit contribution margin unit contribution margin is unit price minus unit variable cost okay this is additional explanation about the uh, contribution margin so the thing that you can uh, understand from the contribution format income statement is uh, if the contribution margin if the total contribution margin uh, equal to the fixed expenses then the company or the business will have zero profit or the company will have no profit at the same time no loss if the contribution margin is higher than the uh, fixed cost then the business is making profit if the contribution margin is less than the fixed cost then the business is making loss so in this sample uh, statement the business contribution margin is higher compared to the fixed expenses so the business is making profit okay this one is also additional uh, explanation about the contribution margin Okay, this is the point that I have said, that I have mentioned earlier. If the contribution margin of the business equal to the uh, fixed expenses of the business, the business will make zero uh, profit. Or the business does not make any profit, at the same time does not make any loss. This situation is called break-even point. The point where the business does not, does not make any profit, at the same time does not make any loss. Uh, in in other words, uh, break even point is a point where total uh, revenue equal to total cost. When the total revenue equal to total cost, then the business is making zero uh, profit. Okay, this thing, uh, this slide is also, uh, I have explained about this slide. If you have a company or a business, if the the contribution margin is less than the fixed expenses, then the business is making loss. Uh, if the contribution margin equal to the fixed expenses, in this sample statement, the contribution margin is 80,000, the fixed expenses also 80,000. So the business will achieve break-even point or the point where uh, there is no profit and also there is no loss and then see the the, the column number four here uh, if the uh, contribution margin of the business is higher than the fixed expense fixed expenses then the business is making profit so this uh, uh, this uh, pink box also shows the relationship between cost quantity and profit that's why we call this topic cvp analysis you will learn about the relationship between cost uh, quantity of production or activity of production and uh, profit okay uh, break even point also can be shown in this graph Okay, just remember break even point is the point where total revenue equal equal to total cost. The red line is the revenue line. Uh, the black line is the total cost line. Total cost is the uh, total cost equal to uh, total fixed cost plus uh, total variable cost. Okay, that is the first thing uh, that you have to know in this topic uh, you have to know the contribution format income statement contribution income statement you have to know how to prepare the contribution income statement 
Uh, and then you have to know about the the contribution margin. Okay, remember I have I have explained that there are two two things about uh, contribution margin: total contribution margin and unit contribution margin. Total contribution margin equal to total revenue minus total variable cost. Uh, unit contribution margin equal to uh, unit price minus unit variable cost. Remember that. This is the second thing that, uh, the next thing that you have to know. Contribution margin ratio. Okay. Uh, contribution margin ratio uh, is equal to total contribution margin divided by total sales. So, contribution margin ratio is one item that you... Uh, you have to know how to calculate. You have to memorize the formula to calculate contribution margin ratio. You will use uh, your knowledge about con uh, contribution margin ratio in the next uh, in the next slides. Okay, first, so you have you have to remember this. There are two ways to calculate contribution margin ratio. Uh, the first way is using this formula. Uh, this formula uh, in using this formula, you use total data. So, CM ratio equal to total contribution margin divided by total sales. You check the uh, the sample income statement uh, in the previous slide. For this wind bicycle company, the total contribution margin is 80,000 divided by the total sales is uh, total sales is 200,000. So, you can see here the contribution margin ratio for this uh, wind company is 40 percent this is the uh, first way or one way to calculate cm ratio uh, the next and uh, the other way is uh, using unit data so you can calculate the cm ratio using unit data if you use the unit data then the cm ratio equal to unit contribution margin divided by unit selling price uh, for wind bicycle Unit contribution margin is 200. Remember, the unit contribution margin is for this uh, business is 500 minus $300. So, the unit contribution margin is 200, five, uh, sorry, 200 divided by the unit price is 500. So, uh, the answer is 40%. So, so it shows that uh, you can use two ways to calculate uh, contribution margin ratio you can use total data like the uh, like the formula that you have seen in the previous slide or you can use unit data like here in this slide you will get the same answer okay so let's see here uh, at win uh, bicycle uh, company each one dollar increase in sales revenue results in total contribution margin increase of 40 cent so when uh, you know that the cm ratio is uh, 40 percent uh, it shows that the 40 percent figure shows that for every one dollar increase in sales revenue in wind company bicycle uh, wind bicycle company uh, the contribution will increase by uh, 40 cent that's why 40 percent is for uh is 40 sorry 40 cent is 40 percent uh, times one dollar okay so uh, let's say we test our uh, 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 this question test you if sales increases increase by fifty thousand, what will be the increase in the total contribution margin so you use the cm ratio So, see here, a 50,000 dollar increase in sales revenue will lead to uh, increase of 20,000 in contribution margin. See here, uh, the sales increase by 40%, 40 uh, 40 sorry, by 50,000. So, you can use this CM ratio number to calculate how much the contribution margin will increase. So in this question, uh, 50,000 increase in sales revenue will lead to 20,000 increase in contribution margin. How to know 
20,000 increase in contribution margin. You can use the CM ratio. 50,000 times uh, CM ratio 40%, the uh, equal to 20,000. The 20,000 is the increase in the, con in the contribution margin. Okay, let's see. This is a simple question. Coffee Clash is an espresso stand in a downtown downtown office building. The average selling price of a cup of coffee is $1.49. The average variable expense per cup is $0.36. Cent. The average fixed expense per month is 1,300 cups uh, sold each month on average. What is the CM ratio for Coffee Clash? So there are many data here. But the question is very easy, isn't it? Uh, the CM ratio. So uh, to to calculate the CM ratio, you have just to remember the the formula. So CM ratio equal to unit contribution margin. This formula is using unit data and divided by unit selling price. So unit contribution margin is the price the unit price minus unit variable cost. So divided by unit selling price. The answer for this question is. 70, uh, 0 0.758 or 75.8% Okay, that's the, 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 the thing that you have to know. So how many things that you have to know now? Uh, first, you have to know how about the contribution income segment. Second thing is you have to know how to calculate contribution margin. The third thing that you just have uh, seen in the previous slide is you have to know how to calculate uh, CM ratio. Okay, this is the, the next thing that you have to know. Changes in fix, fixed cost and sales volume. So let's see, this is a sample question or an, uh, an example. Win is, currently, Win is currently selling 500 bucks per month. The company's sales manager believes that an increase of 10,000 in the monthly advertising budget uh, will increase the bike sales to 540 units. So the question is, should we authorize the requested increase in the advertising budget? So if this is the scenario, how to, to decide whether to agree with the uh, sales manager idea or not to agree with the idea so the way to to make the the choice or decision is like this uh, you uh, to to decide whether the sales manager's idea is good or not you have to use this way you have to compare the current sales or sales uh, before the idea and the projected sales or sales if the idea is uh, uh, is accepted so see here so the current sales is 500 bytes and then the if the uh, when the business sales uh, sells uh, 500 bytes the revenue is 250,000 and the profit is 20,000 so you know how to do this the, using the uh, contribution income statement sales minus variable expenses you get contribution margin minus fixed expenses and then you get the operating income or profit equal to 20,000 so that is sales before the idea or current sales if the uh, idea is accepted the, the projected sales is like this the projected, projected data uh, the quantity of sales is 540. So the sales equal to 270,000. How to get the 270,000? 540 units times $500 per unit of bicycle. So the total revenue or sales equal to 270,000. And then the variable expenses equal to 162,000. So how to get the 162,000? The unit variable cost or unit variable expense is uh, $300. $300 times 540 bicycle. So you will get $160,000. So contribution margin is $108. 
and then fixed expenses if the idea is accepted the fixed expenses equal to 90000 uh, why 90000 because the existing fixed expense is 80000 plus the advertising expense is 10000 advertising expense in this sample uh, question is a fixed cost because you have to pay the same amount every every month or every year so if the uh, see here the profit if the the idea of the sales manager is accepted the profit is 18000 so now you can see the uh, the comp you can make a comparison current sales or sales before the sorry current situation or situation before the uh, sales manager idea is the business making $20,000 and uh, in the column 3 if the business uh, accept the uh, sales manager idea the profit is 80, 18000 so what do you think uh, should we accept the sales manager uh, manager idea or not uh, the answer is we don't have to accept the uh, sales manager idea because uh, the profit after the sorry the profit if the manager's idea is accepted is less compared to the uh, current profit so why should we accept the idea isn't it if the profit after accepting the idea is higher then we accept the idea Okay, this is another way to um, to make decision or to to analyze the situation. Okay, uh, this is the end of the first lecture. Um, you can communicate with me in the comment section.